remember. If I remember right, Quid took it the last time or two. Ling took it the time before that. But that was all the way back in January, close, February. Yeah, that was a very close set, by the way, too. It I, always I think is. it happened. No? Yeah, it, it did happen. I'm saying it always is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jen, even, even when the, the game counts are 3-0s or whatnot, it's always back and forth down to the wire. These players pull out the best in each other. Both very much team fundies. Both want to use that movement-based gameplay hey, to find their openings and then just rack on that pressure, right. optimize every little micro and situation. Both of these players having dominant punishes against each other too. So this can literally go either way. Um, I, I see this. they're going to be basically staying on this stage the entire set. Oh, that was such an amazing down smash from Quid in the backwards hit. It's rare you it. don't see Ling feed that back and try and go in. He attempted to. But because of how big the disjoint is on those lines, there's nowhere to run or hide. And speaking of, Quid getting caught overextending on the rare call out. You don't see Quid get red that much, but if there's ever a player who's managed to do it consistently, it's been Ling. Right. And the thing with Ling that makes it so interesting is that he's one of the most technical peaches in the entire planet. Well, well he's, you got he's, one of the best, yeah. he's one of the best peaches in the right. entire he, I was going to say, Mew is the most technical peach, but... Mute is the most right, technical right. peach, but Ling, Ling absolutely Ling certainly up there. Right. That being said, recently, as I was saying, we were saying, Maddie and I were talking about it, Tegan and I were talking about it. Recently, we have not seen those long combo strings from Ling in the last month or so. Right. When he has gone for them, he's dropped more than usual, and you're seeing him. His movement has always been incredible as well. His float-based defense, his micro-spacing fadeback punishes. Right. And but his DI is always impeccable too. But compared to a lot of other he's leaning on that right. a lot more than he has been in. Which gives him opponents like Quid a lot more opportunities to capitalize. And when they get those more opportunities, they're going to find the juggles. And a player like Quid is not going to let you get back down. Right. And it's not going to be, you're definitely right. It's definitely not going to be an easy challenge. Because the way how Quid is playing right now, mixing up all of Ling's DIs. Because he almost died just now from the top. Yep. And it's, it's not just that we're seeing, and it's not that, you know, we're seeing Ling just opt for a more kind of. And it's been tonight, but it was also last Saturday at Encore as well, or at um, Zeno and Saga as well. He's opting just for a lot less long combo strings, really focusing again on this movement based neutral pull, and willing to play it slower, more defensive, more mid range. Quid having caught on, you're seeing more of this Charizard or the Ivysaur, where his disjoints in that mid range right, act like a sword that back air covers so much space that forward tilt with I Charizard, yeah, Charizard where do you definitely go? One of those characters to be sleeping on because no, everyone knows that the, if you know Quid, he's known for Ivysaur mainly, but the Charizard is definitely not something to be sleeping on, especially at this percent right His here. His Charizard, I mean, like Quid is one of the best PTs in the world. His Charizard is clean. Right. That being said, it is also probably the weakest of his Yeah, out of, out of the other three that he, that he uses is definitely for sure, and I'll tell Quid straight up. Oh! Yeah, I'm trying to read the tech there, but oh, because yeah. of the DI up and the float, reset. Well, he reset it. Yeah, he, he was able to give himself a little bit extra time. And, and sorry, I, I said float. He did not float. I'm, no, yeah, because he, he kind of read it, but he missed. Oh, but yeah. he didn't miss time in that vine wood. No sir, <laughs> no sir. Apparently, listen. You have me solo cast multiple matches straight, and I'm I'm freaking delirious, man. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Nah, so sometimes solo commentating is. A very hard it thing is to do. No one understands that until they try themselves. It's Man. like, oh, what am I going to talk I've about? Been, oh. I've been, I've been, as someone who started solo commentating and then has, I will do it in very rare circumstances. And okay. top eight of a monthly when your other two commentators are in the <laughs> redemption bracket. Right. And so they're just leaving you by yourself because they're good at the game. Like, right. yeah, I'll they solo do that to me a lot of times too. Whenever I'm here, I'm yeah. like, oh, right? all right, I'm just here alone. Bro, TK, I'll it out I love TK and Maddie, but <laughs> they be flaking. They be flaking. Listen, those redemption brackets be slapping sometimes. Dude, they do. They're like, nah, I gotta redeem myself somehow. I did bad in brackets. Because everyone out here is so cracked. Man. Encore is so hard to, to beat him. It, I was gonna say, right? It, like, but it's not just Encore. It's it's, it's 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 the whole Westchester region, the whole CT yeah. region. Both are so deep, and Encore kind of be that bridge between the two. The main, yeah. Like, you just if see you players. If you go to a show or Westchester, mm -hmm. we're gonna know Encore off the bat. And yeah. competing in Encore, no matter what type of level of a player you are, it's definitely not easy to combat. Even Quid. Quid is the best Westchester player they have, and it's still not easy. He just makes it look easy. Finding all of these dominant players from Connecticut, some Long Island people are here. Mm -hmm. 
city people proper. Right, so I'm saying city people. Like, like you have got a whole lot of exactly a whole lot of traditional. I'll call it traditional tri-state okay. because in Smash tri-states, Philly region, New Jersey, New York, but traditionally it's Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, and. Link putting the exclamation point into the bomb, man. Oh, he pulled, it, he pulled the peach bomber into the bomb. This man wants to, something to explode, but unfortunately, the only thing is oh. his hopes and dreams that he's gonna get. The recovery is gonna get exploded right there. Yeah, I was really, I, I was really trying yeah. to see. Well, what, oh, whoa, Quinn, hold Quinn up. saw the bombs and said, "Hold on, man, I got explosions too." Right, I'm always carrying bombs on me. But that's what so makes this You can't say so that on the microphone, crazy, man. The though. FBI is gonna come in here and get us. Listen, I, out of all things, the word that word shouldn't be crazy at all compared I to agree. a lot of other things. I, I agree. <laughs> you should have heard what Maddie was saying on the mic earlier. And when I was, oh man, I've never been that out of pocket on the Maddie, microphone ever. All of Westchester know how I get when I'm on a mic. The amount of things I could say, I'm not trying to get canceled. Wow, you oh, see, oh, quit oh. going the bullet seat into the up special. That's the Leffen Classic. It has been a while since I've seen an Ivy Star pull that one. You know one what out. I'm waiting for Quid to do? Cause he, he, cause he hit Jen earlier, and then before, uh, like a few months ago, Quid made a PT video on Twitter stating that what Ivy Star can do when he's on a platform besides the the up air down airs, he can do like down air, and then Nair falling down the plat is like a DI mix up basically, yep. and then you just get the sour spot back air to. Like, what is and so you, technical yep, with his Ivy Sword? Exactly, so, you so get so the back cool air into the, you can get the grab reset or something right. else. Exactly. That's why it's always so Speaking scary competing else, though, Quid against the platform because yeah. the amount of mix-up he has, you gotta be on your toes. Scary for Quid because he had a little bit of a lead there and Ling managed to erase it, bring it right down to even. All of that happened because he was on a flat. <laughs> well, 50% off one combo, oh, but this Peach we're talking about, right, able to answer right back with an advantage take. We're used to seeing Ling do 50 to 80 in one stop right. in interaction, but instead that was three or four, right? The juggle game. We haven't seen a single combo from Ling really all night. And that's the craziest thing, because you got a point where, when it comes to Ling. He's a combo machine. Yeah, but, but we haven't every seen time I see Ling, oh yeah, wasted all of his resources. I, yeah. I believe the dare caught um, Ivy sort of jump, and then he quit well, realize that. You could, you could have vine, you can vine whip stall into your your. The awkward part there, right, is, yeah, you can recover from lower sometimes mm -hmm. because you can vine whip into switch into use your extra charge or jump into fly. Yeah. However, it's that perfect 45 where you're so far away, and because of Peach Float with turnip in hand, right. if you switch, Link says, oh, thanks, and he just drops out of float, and falls down, and turnips and you, and you die. that's the thing that makes you so crazy compared to the other Peaches. Mm -hmm. I love watching Peaches. He, no, I'm not to discredit any of them, but Link, the way how he edge guards is bro, so he different. holds right. space exactly. Yeah. He, well, the, and part of that is is because you, when you see Mute, right? Mute yeah. doesn't need to edge guard as much because he's just hitting really technical right, up air ones in the so, depth. Right. And it's see you later. But <laughs> Ling, you just see him hold hold space and really force you to commit to a lane while have, while holding a space himself that is entirely yeah. non-committal. Oh, and doing so there as well on stage at the edge Ooh, of platform, okay. not only setting himself up for the ledge trap, but really forcing Quid to limit his approach. And being underneath the platform like this means that falling aerials aren't as much of an option in from the full hop, from the double jump. You don't get the timing mix up. And if you go too high, just like Quid just did, you land on the platform and it's an easy punish. But that's the thing with Ling, though. He's, he's trying to force you. To, he's basically conditioning Quid to either get too comfortable on the top or on the bottom. And then he's going to figure that out later on. The longer the set goes, the, the thing is, Quid is so quick to start off very strongly. But the, the longer the sets go on, that's when Ling starts to really shine. And that's, a, and that's what I noticed compared to these two players going back and forth. Oh, that was a good forward yeah, smash read right there. Quid, I... Ivysaur for Earth's match is an absolutely silly button sometimes with the amount of space it covers. And that's Speaking the downside. Space, say, that's the downside with Ivysaur neutral air. It's active, and it's a, but it's a multi-hit. The hits aren't that strong, and you can find your way in between them. Ling is the master of timing his way between active hitboxes, but what? losing his flow and the rare SD. You don't see him ever lose track of his resources look, like that. I look away one second, he just has these. That's rare. And this has been a little bit of a different link we've seen the last couple weeks. One who is dropping a lot more combos. One who last week at Xeno got visibly nervous fighting his left and bracket. And right? He mentions who's, that who's too. Who's dropping, uh, you know, who's losing track of his float resource. Yeah. Or 
and it is just really strange to see. But he's not done yet. Still in winners finals, right? right. Still has a chokehold on this region that he is trying to hold on to. The question is, can Quid still claim oh Westchester? My God, going that was up to one. Filthy. That's a good start. <laughs> that was filthy. He said, yo, this veggie, take this, take this shit back. I don't want none of this. Well, both big, I'm swear. He's like, he's like, hold on. I'm he's like, smirking right now. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, yeah. like, he's like, hold on, bro. I might be a child, but Veggie Tales went off the years. Right. There years ago. He, he's definitely Pokemon. smirking right now. But he's like, yeah, I really hit him with that turn up combo on yeah. stream. Uh huh. <laughs> and Ling, uh, shake it off. the other question I'm going to say is Ling, one of the best players in the world, against turn up as well. Right? He, he's like, if you know the turn up counter, like, fine. You're still not going to hit me with it. So seeing that. It's not just the smirk of, oh, I hit him with that. Look at me. Yeah. It's also, he got hit by that? Right. And not just like, oh, he got hit by that because he's good and he plays peace. But this link, you know, Qu 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 play. Oh. Quinn knows. And, you know, How is he going to come back Qu to stage? like, Ling so good at those parasol fadebacks, but he's not getting off ledge. And while Quinn's ledge trapping Ooh. is immaculate as we see, whoa, 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 whoa. right? It's not that he's getting particularly tricky. He's yeah. just throwing out these slingshot backers, and Link's just getting hit by them. And oh now the dies. This is getting out of hand. Quit his speed running today. Yeah, right th now. no, this is this is getting out this of hand. This is actually crazy, bro. Did like, Link? Did Link pull an Avril Lavigne between between sets? I think that turn up combo really got into Link's head. Is what I'm noticing. At least that's how it looks like right now. Cause now you're seeing Link's tempo completely following. His tempo's right changing, now. but that's because he's trying to adapt his game plan. Because yeah. really, whatever he's trying isn't working. It's not that I think the turn up combo, because you would see that visibly on his face. But the thing is that in this entire set, mm -hmm. whenever Link had momentum. Ling is really fast with his punishes, but he also takes his time in the middle of the neutral and everything like that. Now in this game four right here, now Ling is, as you say, trying to catch up, yeah. kinda adapt. But this is something his, um, you see tempo. from Ling, right? right? Is he will change up his pace of play. He will start off slower as he gets as download? he gets more you know, as he tries to download you, pick out your options, and then he'll crank up that pace of play when he backs against the wall when he needs to really pull it up. But it's just, none of it's working because Quid has just been willing to be on lock. And you're seeing Ling as well make some spacing mistakes you just don't often see. That being said, he's able to find the conversion there I and really continue like the ladder shot. I like, I like the fact that Quid stalled one more time with the RP. Yeah. Knowing was, that Ling was sharking for all of his resources. It was, it was really smart. And you're seeing just Quid. I feel like every time they play, Quid plays the matchup better. Yeah. He's always good at playing Ling. But he's playing the matchup so much better, calling out, saying, Drew, this, your playstyle of Peach, because there's less of you who do it this way, the counterplay is less developed. So I'm just oh. going to develop it the whole time. And yeah, that was it. That was brutal. As soon as that long tether got clipped, yeah, that was it. And, and, you know, Quid's still giving himself the best chance to come back, but I also like the early counter, too, to say, if you are going to make it back, you're going to get hit. Right. If you aren't, then I'm good. Yeah, Ling, uh, that was a very phenomenal edge guard from Ling Ling because he covered everything. I guess. Just, just one Ling now. Yeah. There's no, it's not Ling Ling anymore. Oh, yeah, that's right. They did change it to one way. I know. It's weird for me, too, man. It's weird for me, too. <laughs> like if you're an old school player, it's like, all right, like, you remember their old well, times. The thing is, like, I've only been in the senior year, so I only know him as a per like personally yeah. as Ling. But I've been watching Smash since Brawl. Like, right. I grew up on these games. I've played these games for my whole life. And I remember him as Ling Ling. And I'm just like, oh, that's, he's yeah, just that's the thing. Like, Hold I, on. I'm just so used to that. Oh, no punish. Bro, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, you see <laughs> Ling's movement up close with float. Right? These fadebacks, oh. fade boards are so good. But can be flowing at that gets, angle, though. I was going to say, well, he could float there. He didn't have it because he did the float mix up. And then tried to do it again, got hit for it, and got that whole juggle situation.